Okay, we're now outside of the Lee County Civic Center. Uh, there's a couple of uh, fifth wheels out here, and they both appear to be the same, just different color pattern, but maybe we will check them both out. Uh, this is called the Beacon. It's called Van Lee, a division of Tiffin. And this is basically 100,000. It's a 2023 model. We're gonna take a look at it. Uh, I did take a sneak peek on the inside. The lighting's not very good in there. There is no, no power. Uh, so we are gonna take a look. There's a, an awning that comes out. Uh, this has a slide out. It has four steps. It's dual axle. Has the stabilizers right there. Sorry, there's some noise in the background. Uh, slide out. So let's do a walk around. I know somebody that's interested in fifth wheels. Uh, there was another model on the inside of the show, but the rear portion, they were using it as the show office. So I did not want any distractions. It looked to be a lot different than what we have outside. Uh, so we have a slide out on this side too, as well. Uh, two slide outs, three slide outs. So that's interesting. It does uh, make it more spacious when they are they're extended outward like that. So here's all your some storage areas, probably some information for your all your uh, water and such, your cables. So. All right, we're going to go take a look inside. Like I said, it is uh, dark in here. There's no lighting in here. I'm not sure, but I like this. So I've been in here, and I would say the ceilings are probably eight feet tall, which is really nice. It makes it very uh, spacious. You feel like you're in a, a real nice home. And so it's, it's nice. You have three steps that go up. And as you go up, off to the left, there's a, a nice, very spacious bathroom with a shower. Uh, there's a, a bench there that folds up when it's not in use. Your little commode there. And this is where it gets dark in here, folks. Hopefully you can see this okay. There's a uh, big TV. I'm guessing it's about 40 inch. There's a nice dresser right there. Uh, window there with the screen. This is a sliding. It says it slides. Yes, it does. Sliding storage area with the shelf. I like that. That's nice and it's locking. It's in place. So I should have tested this before I got in here. So I think this, I'm not going to push my luck, but there's lighting here. Let me see. Those the light switches on, nothing's lighting up here. But this is the one bedroom. This would be the front of the rig. So I would say the ceiling's probably six and a half in this front portion. Let's uh let's go down. I like how this this main living area is, is very wide open. So slow down, Gary, slow down. All right, this is the kitchen. It has a big island right here. Very big sink. I like that a lot. Nice stainless steel sink. This is very elegant. Very elegant. I like this. This is what 100000 can get you. So, this is there's a side-by-side -side stainless refrigerator freezer. I like that. It has a special locking device right there. I'm not going to open it up. This would be your pull-out freezer. That's nice. It's got two shelves in there. That's very nice. This would be basically your pantry and whatnot. That's nice. That's very nice. It feels very solid, too. Um, it has a nice, elegant look to it. I like that a lot. Some more shelving. And now here's more of the slide out area. This is your table area, your little dinette, I guess you could call it. Big windows, I like that. When you're camping, you wanna see as much of nature as possible. Look at this, 
look at this. Th that looks so comfortable and inviting. Your drink holders, very nice. Looks like there's some buttons there. It probably has a recliner. Big TV right here. There's a JBL speaker system. And back up a little bit. Sorry, everything's shaky. That looks like a little fireplace. So that's really cool. I like that a lot. I love how these light fixtures are over the island. Very nice. Very nice. So closed wooden door. Once again, this is the slide out portion to my left. Let's check out the rear bedroom. Okay, very nice. You have your basically a big counter, which be kind of like a vanity. Another big TV here, right here. More storage space above. And like I said, it's about eight feet tall in here, I'm guesstimating, based on my size. Uh, looks like a queen size type bed in here. Let's see what we have here. We have a sliding door. This may be another restroom, and it is. So this is just a... Uh, a sink and a toilet. Like I said, it is very dark. I apologize for that. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I never thought I would have interest in a fifth wheel after seeing that price versus some of the other prices. You know, I am interested now. I just don't have the money. That could change one day. You never know. So it's always good to explore your options. So what I would say one thing that's always concerned me, I don't know enough about this, but this right here, this is where it would attach to your your truck bed. You have to have a certain type of heavy duty truck. So you're looking at another large expense just for the truck to be able to, to pull and haul this. So I hope you guys like that video and I hope the quality turns out better than I think. And, uh, Get out there and see the great outdoors. That's my best advice for you today. Thank you.